All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world, we have an operation in progress. My 55 inch TV is not coming mm -hmm. on. Plug it up and show you guys what's happening. Hear that song? Let me turn off my phone. Yeah. So you can already hear a buzzing sound coming from one of these devices. This is the power board here. The part, I guess, power and high voltage in this area right here. That's sectioned off. <clears throat> Whenever I hit, hit the power button on my TV, this is the sound I hear. Sound like some mouse screeching. This is the ECU, um, the computer, the processor, the main processor is under here, but apparently it's not getting enough power. <clears throat> I looked at a video and said that there may be some capacitors gone bad, and you can tell that they're gone bad by the swole, they're being swollen. These are the only two that were swollen. I ordered a special kit to replace them, and they sent me the wrong capacitors it was for replacing like these capacitors right here but upon investigation these are the ones i needed i ordered them but then i thought about it there's another tv that i was trying to fix and um i bought this board for and this was a good working board it still had the same issue and i it came came to find out it was the leds had to be replaced and i didn't feel like doing the led job so i just ended up buying this tv no, this TV ended up going bad because of WAPA. I didn't put it. Now I have my... <coughs> Sorry, now I have my my TV on the, the, um, the backup battery. Because I learned my lesson. But when I first bought a TV, I was supposed to put it on the backup battery. But my backup battery went out. I just got new batteries for the new backup battery. So, um, now it's working. But the TV's gone out. I usually have to hit the power button about one to 50 times before it finally comes on but that get oh that got old real quick so what i'm gonna do i found the capacitors these two capacitors and this one here i'm gonna replace them with these two capacitors on this board and this big one here because they're the same um microfarads so we're gonna change it out and see if that works all right if not i'd have to end up buying a whole new tv and i ain't about that life right now Peace out. We'll see you guys when I get back. See if the operation was successful. All right.
little bit different if we use a continuously buzzing sound. It would be buzzing all now, it's not buzzing. And the standby light is on. So let's lift it up. And hit that power button, see what happens. Voila! We've got power. <laughs> Alright. Time to close her back up. The operation has been successful, guys. The TV is on. You can see the LED lit there on the other side through there. And just like that, the TV is fixed. And oh no, I, I don't know about fixing TVs for other people. <laughs> ja just blessed me with the know-how to do some of this stuff. As I said, I ordered the kit. The kit came with all these capacitors, but when I read how much microfiber the capacitors was, none of them were matching up with the capacitors on here. So, um, yeah, I thankfully I had another part I bought for TV, didn't work. I took the capacitors out of here and I put them in there. Excuse me, this main one that's missing here is right here now. And there were two that were right here on this board right there took them out and replaced them with the other two that were on the board replaced them with these two that were right there i think they were black on the other board where did i put them oh they're in here yeah they were black on the other board so i took them off and i replaced these two and they were swollen that's what this how you would know let me see if you can see this how you know if it's bad capacitors I don't know if you can see there's a bulge. This thing's not focusing. There's a bulge right on top there. It looks more like a hat. But it's bulging out like a dome on top. Both of them were bulging out like a dome. So I replaced those. And then I was hearing some buzzing sound from around here too. So I replaced that main capacitor. So I don't know exactly which one it was. These obviously were bad since they were bulging. And this one here is the main capacitor. I was hearing a sound coming from that. So that's why I replaced that. So we are good to go now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for, the moment of truth. I got the power. All right, let's see what it do, baby. Hit that power button, voila. Before, all it would do is go tweet, 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 like a little bird singing, as you heard before. So, and instead of having to hit the power button like 50 times to get it on, then we, um, we right there, man. We good to go. We goods to go. Like, let me watch my boy video. His BMW went down. So let's see if you could get it back up or running. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. All right. My guy, Eva. From time I was young, that's why I do um, IT right now. I was into computers and all that stuff. Um, I love to fix stuff. I love to fix stuff. So um, I love to figure out how things work. I basically am an engineer. I didn't go to school for engineering, but I could engineer and make my own thing. I put together my little solar panel and everything like that and so forth. Um, and I have a basic understanding of how things work. And yeah, basic input, output um, and so forth. So it doesn't take much for me to figure out stuff. Just sit and think about it, and it has just come to me. So that's what I thought about. I sat here and I thought I actually already ordered the the correct parts, but um, after the fact is when I thought about the older board that I had. I said, wait, let me go see if those boards have capacitors of the same um, voltage and um, capacitance and. It was the same microfarads and everything reading. So, have a working TV now. I ain't gotta go out and spend $400 for a TV. All right, peace up. See you guys later. VI to the world. Leave your mark upon the world.